Hey there, sign of cancer. This is Kim here to do your reading for you for the next 48 hours. Sorry. Um, thank you for joining me. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing. Uh, if you want a private reading for a limited time, I'm doing those for donations to the channel. So look in the description box for that information. So let's get going, cancer. Calling in your angel, spirit guides, higher self, higher power to get some messages for your greater good. And that's so totally got these out of order. It did I or is it just that's weird. Just one number was like sitting sitting like that. So it's 44. Your angels are encouraging you to continue on your present life path with diligence and determination and even some greater success will come in the future. I am supported. Okay. One more. dropped it all right 31 i am disciplined which is what that one said diligence and determination that's cool so 31 your approach to life is an effective mix of both practically and imagination your mind is stirring with creative ideas and you have the organizational skills to manifest them to life i am disciplined well, that is a really good skill to have, organizational skills. That's something that I uh, pretty much lack <laughs> or I try to get help with a lot um, because, yeah, my organization skills are not that great. So, let's go on. Let's go on. Let's get you another card. This time, we're going to pull from the archetype deck from the archetype deck to see what kind of energy is gonna be for the overall energy of the reading cancer. Oh, angel spirit guys, please help us find messages for the greater good sign of cancer. The self. Let's do another one, let's do two. Oh, wow. <laughs> the self. And Anima Mundi. Okay, the self is about getting to know who you really are, minus labels, minus limiting beliefs that somebody might have put on you. Um, limiting beliefs that may have come from conditioning instead of really your own beliefs. And Anima Mundi is a card that means really all that is. So it's all of existence, all that is. And I think what it's highlighting is that if even just a piece of yourself was missing, then all that is wouldn't be whole. So it's, it's kind of like telling you how essential you are to this. To your success, to your life, to your destiny, to your dharma. And getting to know yourself is getting to know the soul, the spirit before um, this body, you know, this avatar or whatever. All right, Cancer, let's get you some spell casting cards. Yeah, that's too many. I'm just going to take that for now. Let's see. So we have strength, the strength card. It could be representing a Leo, but um, strength and courage are both in this deck. So having the strength to get through a particularly hard time, grieving over the loss of something or someone or the end of a situation, and prosperity coming in. So that's always good. Prosperity coming in. And strength. All right. Prosperity, strength, and grieving. Let's move on. Let's get, um, you know what? Let's do it like this so that I can put more cards out here. All right, let's get some angel cards. So with these, either you think of a question before I draw the card, or I can just draw the card and you can decide where it fits in your life. So either way, both would work. Okay, first card. Perfect timing. 
Something is perfect timing. All right, second question. If you believe is on the bottom, unlikely is right here. All right. So now we're going to skip on over to the tarot and get you a spread from that. And uh, we'll clarify if we need to. I'm going to use the smaller deck uh, because I don't have much room going on here. So let's get a reading for Cancer. A general Celtic cross spread. General anything goes. I usually give the love messages that are passed on. I will usually mention that too. All right, what's the issue for Cancer? All right, you're in your head, Cancer. We're in our head, feeling emotional, um, anxiety, feeling trapped. But look, this might be a metaphorically trapped feeling like dealing with things that are your responsibility, but in a way, like even responsibilities, that's just a, a label somebody's saying for you to do. Truthfully, you can get out of this type of um, stuckness anytime you want. So it's just realizing that you're not stuck. I think that's what's got to happen first. Paranoid, possibly? What's the challenge here? What's the challenge for cancer? All right, the challenge would be getting together, socializing, getting together. And then the issue is, or the, the heart of the matter, you're worried. Yeah, you're worried that, you're, that you might not get your Ten of Pentacles, which is, you know, material success and emotional success. So something about your Ten of Pentacles and support, like for family, that is one of the main things going on. And then what's crossing it. So it's either helping or hindering. Maybe you can't get out to celebrate with friends and family. Or maybe um, this is something that's hindering going out too much. You know what I'm saying? Or something like that. But the, the thing that's got you worried is that Ten of Pentacles. So it's like, you, it's, I feel like you've got a lot of expectations for yourself that are just really astronomically high compared to normal, to normal. All right, Cancer. So what is the past position about? Five of Swords. So somebody was arguing. Somebody was arguing around you. Might be a group of people. It could be an inner conflict as this would so, this Eight of Swords would uh, signify to me like inner, inner conflict. Present tense. Knight of Swords. I don't think you're resisting change, but I don't think you're fully surrendering and accepting it yet. Um, that's what's here. And it could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, like age um, 20 to 30s, if it's representing a person. If it's in relationship, then right now wouldn't be very good for you. If that's, but if this is general, it could be just change of any kind. All right, let's get the card that is for the near future. Okay, so Queen of Cups is kind of like this though. So I feel like it, you may have a hard time finding someone who will listen to you um, and, and maybe get you vibrationally like on an emotional level. Also, the Queen of Cups is a person that could use their uh, emotions for manipulation to get what they want. So just be careful with it being slightly in the reverse like that. It might be a really warm, compassionate person too. You know, I mean, it, it might be all of that. But the manipulation might just be for like, you know, one or something. So, all right, let's move on. Let's look at the card that tells us how you feel. And, or that can be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Don't let me leave that out. So we have the Magician energy, which is, you know, it's energy that I'm going to tell you this. How you're feeling is is not really matching up with the, um, with the issue here. Or, or maybe something about what you're manifesting is 
possibly scaring you or or having some um, over analyzing going on in your head about a ma manifestation. This is the ability to manifest. So in, in some way, you know you're not stuck in some way. All right, what is the external circumstance? Queen of Wands, somebody bold, inspirational, fiery, could be Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. Uh, this is around you. This is uh, the energy of heightened intuition. This is the uh, person that puts their talents front and center stage because they get so much praise. And look, we have the good news card on the bottom of the deck. Let's look at your hopes and fears. Hopes and fears would be that you don't pass a milestone or that you don't reach that celebration point. Um, but you will. You will. It's this. It's all mind. It's mind things, okay? It's in your mind. And that could be representing 1111, like twin flame energy too. So look, we're going to take the small tarot and I'm just going to kind of shuffle it above it and see if it wants to land near anything and tell us some more information, okay? All right. Did I do the, oh, oh my gosh, I feel so stupid. I didn't do the outcome. It's like there's obviously one spot here. Oh, project, projected outcome for cancer. Sorry, cancer, I've been really busy today. All right, so we have the lovers on the bottom. So this is a good decision made, okay? And, and it is good partnership, could be a Gemini, could be a Pisces, but here on, um, I think this is more of a warning instead of um, an outcome in the sense that it's the high priestess in reverse. So you are probably going to have a tendency to want to go outside of you to find answers that uh, clearly can only be found within. So this might be about action, about time to take action. That might be the uh, message there, time to take action. All right, let's do three uh, tea leaves down here, down the middle, and we're going to wrap up your reading, Cancer. I always have fun doing your readings. They're nice, and they're usually emotional. I have lots of Cancer in my chart, too. Peacock, beware of great pride. Tortoise, slowly but surely getting ahead. There's a good confirmation. A forest muddled or unclear thinking that's because of this so the projected outcome is that if you go off of information around you something's gonna to be told not right something's gonna be false so go inside avoid this uh, muddled unclear thinking okay all right thanks guys sending you love and light bye